The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? One, two, three, four. It's the start of something beautiful. A small acquaintance has blossomed and ripened into a precious friendship. I could have never seen what was coming for me. Hangs at the skate park, hangs by the beach. My life, it feels like. Welcome to my brother, my brother, me and advice show for the Mountain Era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I'm your middlest brother, Travis McElroy. I am your sweet baby brother, Griffin McElroy. Justin's got the goggles out. I got the binoculars. Oh. This is my new thing. I feel like uh, Tom has been posting more videos on our TikTok channel. Yeah, and YouTube. Yeah. We got a Richard Sink up there on YouTube. Yeah, but that does that. No one yeah. does that anymore. Everybody's, everybody's I'm gonna like check TikTok. in on that. Uh, but Tom's been doing more TikTok, so I feel like I should be. It's McElroy family. If you follow us on TikTok, you might win a big prize. And the prize is entertainment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to but, be fair, throwing that might in there is a big might because doing anything, you might win a big that's prize. Good. Really you, big m- you might win a $100 Dave Ant Busters gift card. You might, might that maybe. day for an unrelated reason. Yeah, yeah not I'm from tr- us, just like all things are connected kind of way. So know. I'm trying to incorporate more visual elements. And this one I came up with is like, I'm looking at all our <laughs> friends that have joined us. More f- something for kids, okay. I guess. Hey. Here's what I'm saying: there could be visual elements for kids oh. and audio elements for adults. So it's a it, if the kids are watching on YouTube, they like it better. Yeah, do you understand? So they'll want to yeah, watch it more. Yeah, I will say that a majority of our audience still does live in the audio space, and right. so when we do these things. They won't get that, and they'll hate that, and they'll either tell us they hate that, which hurts my feelings, or they'll stop listening and supporting us fungibly, and that hurts. What? Okay, Justin has found Justin's a little- Justin's adding some marbles? Is that what is, that is? Is that a little marble? I have these clips in a bag. Shh, I'm not supposed- The audio elements are for adults, <laughs> well, okay? Then the kids Justin, watch if... it on mute, so it's gotta be stimulating for kids. Okay. Then, if I may, what we need is a visual, like, maybe mascot character, somebody who pops up that we do not reference, yeah. but okay. it's just, like, in, like, the corner of videos, right? A little fun- uh, Now Justin's talking to his guitar clip, it's his capo, yeah. But Travis, you don't mention it. That's the thing. That's this is the cap- challenge, Trav, is God. is that we do the can we maybe this is mayor this is mayor capo. <laughs> That's mayor oh. capo. He's the mayor of Musicburg. You fucking go. <sighs> He's the mayor of Musicburg. He's a kids love uh the capo character, Mayor Capo. Yeah, I think he's uh, he's upside down for the way I think he should be shaped as a character. Here's the pr- okay. You're not wrong, but I can't squeeze he it. Can't I mean, squeeze that's him upside wild. down. That's hard. Um, maybe we flip it because adults, sp- the left side of their brain is the visual cortex, and they uh-huh. like vi- they like that. And but kids like to have an imagination, so they sure. maybe we should do the audio for kids and the. Grown-ups get yeah. the video, so it can be like, hey, why did the cow go to, on a, where did the cow go on Friday night? To the movies. <laughs> oh, and that's pretty good. My, with my hands, I'm doing a pork in it gesture. That's pretty do good. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you call a fish with no eyes? A fish. And then the, I'm still doing the pork in it gesture. Well, here's the problem with these visual elements. What's um, wrong, Trap? They're very distracting for me. <laughs> Yeah, because I can't stop looking at what Justin's doing yeah. and trying to figure out exactly what he's going for. I s- he's a real sourpuss. I've got a terminal case of the grumpies. Yeah. Oh, a terminal case? Oh <laughs> yeah. no! He's dying. Oh, oh no! 
kids know that that means they have exactly 15 minutes to save me before I die. Yeah. <laughs> of them. And so they have to send money in. They have to send money oh. and buy our if merch. Enough of them join the Max Fun Network then. Buy our merch at Walmart and Target and get our new meal delivery. We have our own pop up kitchen. It's called Mackle Snacks. <laughs> and that's used on, you can get that on all of your favorite apps, kids. And the Mackle Snacks aren't very good. And they are, it's like $15 for like if a crypto turkey. Crypto Grill can open their own ghost kitchen. Why yeah. can't we? Yeah. Why aren't we allowed? Fair. I have noticed that we don't do enough. BB likes the videos where it's like, we're, this family's like promoting themselves to earn money and shilling yeah. to YouTube and we're going to all sleep. Don't you first. hate when families promote themselves to I earn know, money? Right? Isn't I it the that. worst? We're going to, we're gonna sleep in a bouncy <laughs> castle inside the house tonight. And then BB will turn and be like, can we sleep in a bouncy castle? And I have to try to explain to her, like, that's not a real thing that, that people do. That's the yeah. thing they're doing for this fun YouTube. This is not an option normally. Yeah. Like, converting our living room into a uh, like a ball pit is not a thing. It's not a thing. That's not a thing people Charlie do. Charlie asked me if we could do a eat only orange food challenge. And I said, kid, you, you're already doing daily food challenges. It's called the eat only bread challenge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then cry if you don't. I um, do the try to get my kid to eat a good variety challenge every day. So far, yeah. uh, <laughs> the hit rate is low. Hey, this is an advice show. We're giving you freebies right now. No one even asked for our pairing advice, but we're just dumping it right on your lap. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, no one. No one that. should ask for our parenting advice. By the way, I mean, I'm not saying we're bad parents. But I'm my kid, there's no way that it's a normal like thing that I'm going through. Just she sometimes turns into a gargoyle at night. It's not important. Don't worry about it, guys. You guys remember that show, Gargoyles? That got too real. That got too real. My girlfriend recently proposed to me by setting up a beach picnic. Ooh, oh, oh my goodness! goodness. Ooh, a a bold move, a beach picnic, because with too much wind, that's all. Yeah, wind. too much crabs. That's one of my fav- favorite foods including a butternut squash pasta dish. Ooh. Since she did not have access to the recipe I usually use, she ended up improvising oh boy. and researching an entirely different recipe. The problem is I actively dislike this recipe. Oh, man. Obviously, I wasn't going to say anything because I don't want to hurt her feelings or ruin the thought she put in our proposal, but now she wants to include the pasta dish in our daily rotation of recipes, and I don't know how to sidestep it without admitting I never liked the engagement pasta. Oh, boy. Engagement pasta sounds like something a social media ninja would be would be yeah pushing for sure people bro the SEO, the engagement pasta on this tweet it's pretty low need more JPEGs hey Olive Garden it's me Doug your social media manager <laughs> let me I have a suggestion for you it's called engagement pasta you're gonna fucking really brings hate them it. in brothers what do I do do I admit I don't like our engagement pasta and risk putting a cloud over what was a very thoughtful and amazing proposal or do I resign myself to eating mediocre impo- imposter pasta it's you okay. Jerk. Imposter pasta. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. For the rest of my life. That's from Pasta Prisoner in South Carolina. Um, what do you think of this move? The next time they make it, say, huh, th- it, did you do something different this time? It doesn't taste the same. And oh, and no. then try to do like the maybe it was like just so full of love and you didn't put any love in this one. <laughs> Why didn't you put it? In? Yeah, th- that runs a pretty serious risk, Travis, of making it sound like you are ready for this engagement to be terminated. Just like, mm. Oh, this no. This very, this very important pasta, this VIP, it, something's missing. Something is missing, Patricia, oh, from it. maybe that's it. This very important pasta, I just feel like we should save it. For special occasions, this is like for a special, special. That's this is great. a special pasta. We can't just have this pasta every day. This is our engagement pasta. I yeah. There's ritual. There's sac. There's ceremony. There's, there's did you say sacrifice? There's sacrifice. No, I was gonna say sacrifice, but it, that's not what I meant. There is sacrifice. That butternut was doing just fine. Yeah. Thank you. I think uh, it's cool to do beach pasta, and nobody talks about this. <laughs> but when you go on the beach, everybody's like, I brought goldfish crackers. I brought ham. I brought no pasta. I didn't bring pasta. But every time I'm on the beach and I'm eating Fritos and I'm eating uh, cr- Uncrustables, uh-huh. I'm sitting there thinking like some gnocchi would go down pretty smooth right now, but nobody's brave enough. to. I wish I had a nice here. hot pasta. A nice because here's the thing. I'm sure that some people right there are like already jumping to Mastodon, uh, to Mastodonus. 
Yeah. So I haven't figured it out. To in say their like, private, in their little weird holes. <laughs> to say, like, what about pasta salad? It's like, no, 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 no. We're talking no, about a nice not. steaming bowl of hot butternut squash hot pasta. Hot butternut squash pasta. I've been married for 17 years now, ish. Uh, and what's your secret? What I, what's your secret? That's so I'll long. Tell, I'm about to reveal it. Actually, uh, be old. <laughs> that's one. Okay, that's Number two is uh, I can say with confidence you do not need to address this because my friend, it's gonna come out. You're gonna take a. They're gonna. They're gonna ask you how much you love it. And there's gonna be a half a moment, a nanosecond of hesitation. Yeah, just a single moment, and the person who knows you better than anything in the world is gonna say, "You, you don't, you don't like it." You don't like the dish. And then you can address it. Yeah. You don't have to intentionally take it on. The other thing I tell you is the idea that we get to choose our food is a relatively new concept in the process of humans. Yes. Uh, here we go again. And you should probably just eat it. Yeah. I mean, you should probably just eat it. A little salt, a little pepper, I, a little tahini from this can guy. Can you shush it up? On your butternut squash tahini on your butternut. I said a little. I mean, don't go wild. Maybe a, a little like a ginger based hot sauce in there. Yeah, maybe crumble li- up some fucking Takis and like throw that in there and then maybe put in some fucking don't maple syrup me. like you're the elf yeah, from but Elf. This is what I'm saying. This will like address the issue. Yeah. If your partner sees you go to get the ingredients that aren't in this one, yeah, like and tahin. have it just like, hey, can we have some table side cumin? <laughs> Some like salt and pepper and some table side cumin with fresh parsley that's like chopped up. Like, can we have some of that just like table side? And maybe and some the, like pizza on the side. The original like recipe side is, the original recipe is recipe uncom- is uncompromised. It is it the love recipe is still there. But the the tahini represents our growth since the engagement. Mm-hmm. It represents the curveballs that life throws at us sometimes. Sometimes you it make, also you, it represents that recliner we bought together. You know what I mean? Like it. you make it. Just make it. You, you make, make it. the butter. You make it. You make it. You make it. Hey yours. hot shot. Hey hot shit. You think you're the best at making butternut squash? Why don't you fuck it? Let's see what you've got. And yeah, send then, it to the then, three of us. We'll eat it live on yeah. air. Oh, we'll yeah. Give us an A and B Pepsi versus Coke taste challenge. We'll do a blind <laughs> taste as of both of them. We'll tell you which one loves the other one more. If you make it and your partner uh, is not like this is outrageous. Yeah. This is so much better than what I normally do. Then they, then shh, listen, they like theirs more. Yeah. Oh, maybe you okay. each make your own personal pan butternut squash beach pasta. And then you put it before a, a panel of judges, That's including yes. Ina Garden. Yeah. Bobby Flay. Yes. And for no reason, Millie Bobby Brown. Millie Bobby yeah. Brown. And, and, Bo- and the three of them. Millie Bobby Flay is our new show on the Food Network. <laughs> we read out of ideas. It's Millie Vanilli Bobby Flay. Come on. Let's go. We have no ideas left. <laughs> um, The wizard would like to share it it with. You're done talking about butternut squash pasta. I, I have a hard time believing that. I'm hungry. I am hungry. It's making me really hungry, actually. I would like to move I don't on. even like butternut squash pasta, but it's one of those things where when you talk about it enough, it's like, do I like squash, it? Squash is deceptive like that, especially butternut squash. Yeah. You hear that. You say that enough times, you're like, mm, mm, sweet, yum. creamy treat. And you try to eat it. No, no. The only squash that lives up to it is delicata. Everything else is a pretend. Everything else sucks shit. This is how to become. I mean everything. How to become a fool? How, mm. how to become a fool? This one's got a lot of good wisdom in it. Is also posted in fun activities, pranks, practical jokes. So it's like that's it a be that's a big scope. Wiki how it's fun activities is most thin it's like an umbrella. Just an umbrella. But yeah. that could be like taking a nap or bowling. Damn, I'm looking at the have fun activities list now. And there's some there's some stuff in here I've never even thought about before. Like how to have computer fun, content, games, writing, and more. Or how to pop a balloon. Huh. Oh. There's how to tie up a balloon and then how to pop a balloon and then how to perform grindcore vocals. Okay. How to release a balloon back into the wild. Yeah. Damn, I almost kind of want to read some of these. How to entertain yourself without objects. Holy shit. Oh, in like a in a completely empty void. Yeah, how to entertain yourself. There is no 
there's no I'm in a a room free of mass and space. It's just time and thought in here. I have been a, I'm in my mind prison and I'm going to entertain myself now. How to become a fool. Make assumptions. It's said that assuming makes an ass out of you and me. Mm. Well, nothing has changed. It does. Can I hey, cool I've I've always wondered about that saying, by the way, because I get the like I made an assumption and that made an ass out of me. But how does you making an assumption make an ass out of me too? Yeah. Like Griffin yeah. makes an assumption that makes an ass out of me? In what and not way? Only that, and not only that, it'd be cool if in Sherlock season five, Benedict Cumberbunch was like, ah, your cell phone has a scratch on it, which means, oh, what am I doing? Fuck me, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know what oh, they say. But the constable walks with a limp, so he couldn't have, at what, uh, I don't know uh, for yeah. sure, though. I don't know for, we none of us know for sure, so like. <laughs> you know, I, you you make a deduction, you make a dead out of you and Shun. And Shun. I, I tried to get, for a while, I tried to get assuming makes an ass out of you, because like, assume makes an ass out of you and me. It doesn't yeah. make sense. Right. It's just like, that's the spelling gag, right? Yeah. But it, when you say assuming, it means not like assuming makes there's nothing. Yeah. So I tried to get for a while going, assuming makes an ass out of you and Ming Sai, celebrity chef and restaurant. Oh yeah. Okay. But no okay. one, no one really got into it very much. But I did have a good ten years where I tried to get assuming ten makes years. An ass. That's a long time. Off and on, it doesn't pop up so often. And you know what? Actually. I will say now 12 years because we're here because right? oh, I'm say. doing it now yeah, trying okay. to get it going again. Well, don't read your insurance schedule and policy wording is another good way to be a fool. Huh. If you had an insurance claim declined by your insurance company, you will know that this is one of the more detrimental acts of foolishness one can commit. Now, usually I, there's some, uh, I, I would say, a little better pacing in WikiHow articles of like we're going to start – very broad and broad work to and a general point. In. Yeah, but to go no. from make assumptions, don't read your insurance policy. It's like, wait, hold on. There's no steps between those two? But why well, I will I... say, I, if you don't read your insurance policy, you are making the assumption that it's all fine. Yeah. That's true. That's an assumption. But that's, I actually assume that people are good. <laughs> yeah, I assume that these little words are fine. But that's like also insurance like if i wanted to worry about every little thing and have like my fucking head on a swivel 24 7 despite the my own sort of mental it's a caduceus that i've got going up my little what's it's <laughs> that i've got going up up there i wouldn't have the insurance i would be always ready for it i have insurance so i don't have to sweat the small stuff baby you know what i mean yes yeah yeah i guess that's true um, don't have a legal eye glance over your contracts. Those okay. believing they can do this alone are somewhat foolish. You must have a sound knowledge of law. I can't. I'd say those assuming that they don't need that. And we're already covered here. Yeah, I was going to say, Justin, this is a great point. Because I was going to say, you could just say don't read contracts before you sign them. But yeah. that does fall under the bigger umbrella of making assumptions. Don't make assumptions. Don't. And also, I will say that assumptions are fundamental to our survival as a species. Yeah. Yep, right? So what do you want from me? Don't be a fucking dum-dum because here's step four. Go ahead, breach a contract. Now- Oh, challenge now, Why are you challenging? This writer, okay, the writer of this Wiki How article has not been paid in three months. This right? I think targeted. that's what it, right? <laughs> um, Tell June that maybe sometimes you do think about looking at other people. That's one thing you could do. Hey, here's one thing you could do. Get a job at WikiHow and then just assume that the insurance they give you is in a cover elective procedures. And they don't. And you're like, well, then I quit. And they're oh. like, well, you need to give us six weeks notice. And I'm like, fuck, I didn't read that contract. If Shit. you view this article as a do as I say, not as I do, and that this person writing this has had a personal crisis or crises. Or it's like the joke of like, opening up a, a fortune cookie and saying like you found a fortune that says like help I'm trapped in a cookie factory right that yeah. this is someone trapped at WikiHow by an ironclad contract with bad insurance trying to call for yes. help yes okay so Has anyone ever written a memoir called here's how I fucked up I think that th this is yes, a living not document called that. it's a living right. document that we find ourselves in 
now. Like it's a, a it always sounds like a, a show evolving. that Spotify would pay twenty million dollars. Yeah, <laughs> or um, the story so, of Spotify. <laughs> just to like follow the story of this sad person. Do we have author info here? No, literally nothing. Okay, we'll call him Jar Jarsh. Um, so a, a, just to go through it again, Josh made an assumption and he didn't read his insurance schedule <laughs> policy wording and he didn't have a legal eye glance over his contract and then he did go know, ahead and breach the know, contract. Do you guys know what an insurance schedule is? Yeah, definitely. The, ne- the next step in Josh's it's journey- It's when you do insurance on time. He'll, he'll tell me later, yeah. I assume, if I need to know. Uh, the next step in his journey, over extend yourself financially. Governments that have passed national credit acts and have imposed strict laws surrounding borrowing and lending of money are to be commended. <laughs> well done, government. Wow. Well done, governments. I uh, know we all we all give you a hard time. We all like to think that you know son, Monday morning quarterback and all that, but uh, you know the ones that have passed national credit acts and imposed strict laws surrounding borrowing and lending of money. They, I give them a big round of applause. Does it ever broaden back out to like? Uh, you know, make promises you can't keep? Or is it continue on this, like, business strategies only? Well, let's, I mean, it starts to unravel here a little bit. Stand surety for someone else's debt. I don't know what that means. But if that word sounds strange, it's because the next sentence is, the Bible teaches us that this is foolishness. Standing what? surety for someone else's debt it is often an emotional decision. It's fun when the Bible gets in there. And it's like, Bi- yeah. whoa, Bi- is this... Has it been Bible stuff the whole time? I didn't know the Bible uh, had stuff about insurance in it or contracts. Uh, Do you think that the, uh, the the author like turned it in and Wiki How's like you can't call it the libertarian agenda? That's not <laughs> Wiki How. That's not the structure that we use. Yeah, he's like, well, what about this? Yeah, I would I would also say if you're going to cite the Bible in an article of like how to be a fool, one. Uh, there's plenty of stuff in the Bible about fools and stuff, and like a fool, and like, but also, plenty of people who have read the Bible have been a fool, my dude. That also doesn't work. Travis, it doesn't say read the Bible. It says don't purchase real estate, timeshares, or property fractions without physically viewing the property. A saying exists, in God we trust, everything else we audit. The same should be for property or real estate prior to purchasing it. That's good. I mean, our, that's good advice. Okay. We can I'm make sorry. jokes about it, but like, go to the house before you buy it with all the money. Are there have. people who aren't doing that? Um, I mean, are I there people in the world who are like, "What's that? A timeshare?" You say, sight unseen. I'll take it. You seem like a trustworthy man. I did have to put in an offer on the house that we live in now in DC without going to it first. But and what if you've gone there, Griffin, and it was one eighth scale? If it was got, a little baby house, guys, just for like a. A, a shits and giggles. I did a quick Google search of the Bible. Yeah. To see mentions of fool. And man, we give the Bible a hard time sometimes. Um, uh, there's a lot of stuff that has been used bad, but man, there's some good stuff. Listen oh, to this. Give me some Bible juice. This is Proverbs 18, too. Okay. Oh, give me some Bible. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Let me, Break me yeah, off a piece of that Bible. Break me off Let me of that give Tom bar. a marker where he should start the no context uh, yeah, sure. TikTok here. Right here. So I just want to take it to the word for a second. Proverbs yeah. eighteen two says, "A fool takes no pleasure in understanding, but only in expressing his opinion." Oh that's damn, sweet. Jesus that's, from downtown! Jesus, that's, that's, that's a slam ESV. dunk, man. It's good. A fool's lips walk into a vite, and his mouth takes a beating. Walk into a what? Oh. A walk fight, into a fight, and his mouth takes a beating. Oh, well, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. that one doesn't actually do it for me as good. Bible, the Bible. Okay. Well, because then you get punched in in the lips. Whoever trusts in his own mind is a fool. This is how Joe Rogan starts every episode. Whoever trusts in his own mind is a fool, but he who walks in wisdom will be delivered. That's Proverbs 28, 26. Well, now I mean, that's that's not a one to one, though, is it? No. He who trusts in his own mind, but he who is wise. hmm. Mm, Now, there's also kind of a comedy rule of threes thing, but for the Bible, where if you read three Bible verses on your podcast, your podcast is a Bible podcast. Yeah. Uh, That's what I'm going for by by bringing in Proverbs 26. Oh. Three through twelve. Just listen to this. Three listen through twelve is a word. lot. Juice. Three through twelve Just is a listen. lot of Bible, my hey, friend. Each one Griffin, is one word. We never, we never read the Bible. I That's know, trick. Justin. <laughs> we never read the Bible. No, he saved it up. We got a big load built up. Oh, Justin's got a load of Bible. Listen. 
a whip for the horse, a bridle for the donkey, and a rod for the back of fools. Well, hold oh, on. Wow. Yeah, it's good. No, Answer, that part's not great. That part's not good, but listen to the next part. Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest you be like him yourself. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own eyes. Whoever sends a message by the hand of a fool cuts off his own feet and drinks violence. Okay, now you, Justin, you have bookended like in the center there of like, hey, when someone's being dumb, don't answer them dumb or it just makes you seem dumb too. Great. But in the, the first part there, it was like, yeah, whip that horse, bridle that donkey, beat up that idiot. And then the next part was, if I remember correctly, he who sends a message, message with a fool. By the, by the hand of a fool, cuts off his own feet and drinks Fuck violence. Yeah, I love sometimes when the, <laughs> yeah. I love sometimes when the Bible is like, do not eth borrow from thy neighbor and not eth repay it. Thine pride shall cast ye off into hellfire and cut off your dick and your balls and feed it to goats. And it's like, holy shit, Bible, Whoa. like, calm, do, dost thou not readeth I mean, thine it, insurance policy? Then is cut ESV. off your it's head. It's pretty modern. Oh, I mean, well, okay, well yeah, I, I like do like that part stuff. where it's like, it's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than it is for a lame to do a sick ollie. Yeah, and it's like, so, wait, hold on, what? Oh, wait. And it's like, and oh, that's cut from off the his fucking feet and his hands and arms, put him in a pot and make his mom eat it. Don't borrow. The fool folds his hands and eats his own flesh. What? That's Ecclesiastes, guys. Well, I'm, not, I'm fully out of Proverbs. Yeah. The fool hold, folds his hands and eats his own flesh. I've never. I mean, Dang, that's a good a point. Good book. That is a cool. good point. If I saw somebody just gnawing on themselves, I'd be like, "Don't be a fool. Don't come don't on. Do that. Have come you on. uh food heard of it? Hey, what does the Bible say about don't use the internet without the correct security slash antivirus settings? <laughs> <laughs> Want your money stolen out of your bank account? Your hard drive infected with scary viruses? Your hard drive crashing on you at that crucial moment, right when you're about to finish? If not, don't do this. Um, don't try to fix a man slash woman. Huh. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good one, Wiki How. Now, once don't again, ever... though, to go from insurance, read a contract, uh, you know, don't take on someone else's debt, don't try to fix someone. It's yeah. like, what? Hold on. Big props, though, Wiki How. Wiki Bible for this next Bible how for this next one. Don't engage in an extramarital affair. This one doesn't apply to open marriages if it's within the terms of your mutual understanding. Oh. All right. There's a version of this that doesn't include that postscript, and I I appreciate it. Yeah. Probably forced in by the editors. Probably forced I, in I by an have... editing pass here or there. I do like the idea of WikiHow editors, but they only care about very specific things. It's like, you mentioned yeah. the Bible in here, that's fine or whatever. But over here, you talk about extramarital affairs. Does that apply to people with open marriages where that is within the bounds of the agreement between them? What? Just include that for safety. For safety. And also, I mean, we get into some more virtuous stuff here. Don't slander. Don't make promises you can't keep. Then it gets into... Don't read contraindications on medicines and ingredients on natural health products and foodstuffs. What? What is this post, Griffin? Well, it's how to not be a fool. This guy is spiraling. It's, don't be a fool. This guy's had a hard time of it, Justin. He has made assumptions. He has fucked his insurance up. He did a bad contract. He, 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 he fucked his insurance well his behind his wife's back. And, then and his wife was like, are you fucking the insurance? It. She said he we ate did two not pills that hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> then he did buy a property that did not have walls or uh, floor in it or roof. And then he was got on the internet to find out what legal comp, like what how paid he could get for that. But then he got viruses and he tried to fix someone. And then he took two pills that made him sick. And then he believed that STDs only happen to other people. Is the last step in here. <laughs> It, I, uh, is it, Griffin, do, is there like a secret last line on this wiki how it's like, by reading this article, you're already a fool? Like, yeah, that, oh, like, wow. or a stonemason. <laughs> like, yeah, you've made it this far. Step on in to your computer. You haven't clicked away. You have the rigor we're looking for. Yeah. This is a, there's some stuff in here. I'm worried actually that this, 
segment will have a net negative effect because there's some stuff in here that's like you should make sure that your medicines don't counteract each other. That's good stuff. Yeah, yeah. you don't want to. Yeah. You don't want to pop some, you know, uh, Guelphesin in the afternoon and then a little bit later take an, uh, a, you know, uh, cold formula that also has Guelphesin in it. Oh, your God, shit's no. gonna be your shit's gonna be whacked out. Um, but in doing that, you have assumed that these mm. two pills don't hate each other. Yeah, yeah, you've, you've assumed this. that pharmacists and like scientists know what they're talking about. Okay, that's true. That's a good point. Okay, so I guess the whole thing is just don't assume. Don't assume, baby. Yeah. Question they everything. Want, they had it in one. The truth is out there. The truth is out there. Question everything. Question, Push against oh, the boundaries. Fuck. This We are taking a beating this segment from ourselves. Um, <laughs> we are eating our own flesh right now. Yeah. yeah we're With folding our hands. our hands and eating our own flesh and drinking yeah, violence. Drinking violence left and right. I woke up and this morning and I say, drank violence. It's delicious. It's all right. It's good violence. That's what they don't tell you. Violence? Mm. It tastes yeah, like yeah, butternut yeah, squash. Yeah. Um, so I went to Dave Matthews concert last night. And oh, I, yes. I brought back uh, a very special uh, thing. Can I show you guys? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Why is he doing a visual? Is this a it's visual for kid, bit, This one's for kids. Kids out. love Dave Matthews Band. Yeah. My kids love Dave Matthews Band because I told him about when he dumped poopy on a bunch of people. <laughs> in hey, Chicago. guys, it's me, Dave Matthews. What? Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit. It's wow. uh, the one and only Dave Matthews. Dave Matthews, Dave Matthews, can I ask why you had to stand up from your desk to go get a pair of sunglasses <laughs> that, that you put on? So, that was Travis. No, that was, that was my good friend Travis, and I had to switch why didn't places. He, why didn't he have the glasses ready to go at the table? I'm wearing the glass. I had to switch places with Travis. So Dave. I heard you did a killer show last night in Dayton. I did. I barely remember it. Uh, but it was three hours long, I heard, with no opener. Uh, yeah, baby. But, How do you uh, not remember that? Well, all the shows start to run together after a while, <laughs> especially when you have done so many drugs. Hey, can you talk normal, Dave? A little baby. No, nah, Dave. <laughs> No, what uh, what I brings bring. us? What brings you to our show, Dave? Wow, what an honor! Thank you so much for asking. Did you As hear we were know, talking about the Bible, and you were like, "Got to get all up." <laughs> I love it. I, uh, your camera is blurring in self defense. Go yeah, ahead. Well, I have that effect on uh, audio visual equipment. Uh, I uh, so as you know, I have conquered the musical scene. I've won several Grammys. You sound a lot like Oogie Boogie, which I hate. <laughs> Well, I get that a lot. Can you try to sound less like Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas? I can try. Was that that was more Oogie Boogie, wasn't it? Yeah, it's it. going deeper so down I'm the hole. So I'm looking to ex I'm looking to expand the Dave Matthews brand, and so I have done a little market research. Sorry, the Dave what the the what Dave Matthews brand. <laughs> I could. So I've done some market research to look up where other musicians have partnered with brands so that I can see what's out there. Because I'm looking for something that screams Dave Matthews, you know, when I do it. And so I'm going to read you guys You the really product. don't sound that much like yourself right now, David. I sang a lot last night, buddy. Were you listening to me? But I, I don't understand hours. why having a hoarse throat would cause one to sort of do the sort of affectations that you're putting on for us, David. I'm just trying to put on a good show here, man. It's the goal to have fun. And if you will allow me, we might just make it play tonight. Your, play your little game, David. Okay, I'm going to describe it. This guy is a family man now with a wife and two little babies. So this Grammy-nominated producer took his perfectionist attitude to a new endeavor, Baby Strollers. Together with Cybex, he launched a collection of strollers and other parent gear featuring his own designs and logo. Throughout the strollers are bold jungle-inspired patterns complete with lions and zebras and flora. And on the outside of each is the We The Best logo. Now it's obvious who this who this musician slash producer is, but you guys tell me. Uh, uh, Rick, Rick Rubin, incorrect. We okay. I didn't. Okay, so just to sort of 
tell you where I'm at. And I'm trying really hard this episode and for the rest of my life not to make assumptions. I didn't know that this was going to be a game, Dave. No, so this I was is only... market research. Yeah, no, for sure. But it feels like a game, though, doesn't it? Like, it feels like points are up for I don't play games, grabs, little baby. Is it DJ Khaled? It is, is it DJ, DJ Khaled. Is it DJ Khaled? It is DJ Khaled. Okay. That's correct. I feel nothing. Now I got that. One. I want you to know I got that right, and I don't feel anything. Mm. There yeah. was very little. To be fair, though, there was very little reaction from Dave. There was no got reaction. Like, there was the also no one setup. That was the biggest I react. So it was biggest. just all middle that bit. No, it's not done yet. Okay. Because now I'm going to tell you about my own idea, and okay. I'm going to see what you guys think. I'm going to make a movie. Gonna write and direct it and produce it. Who? It's about. What, a, are you, it, what are you doing, dude? I just told you I'm gonna make a movie. Yeah, but it's but you you're fucking like transmogrifying in. It's like you're you exist in a quantum state right now, yes. and you'll be telling me about DJ Khaled strollers, and then you'll be like, "I want to make a movie." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you I'm a multifaceted human being, a little baby. It's like the less confident you become in yourself, the more you move away from your own. I don't know why he'd be less confident in himself. His little brother is negative, or his friends. I'm not related. To, sorry, Juice, You're now you're the one who's making assumptions. I'm not let related him, to Dave Matthews. Just let David do his segment, please. Can I please tell you about my movie? Yeah. So Are you talking what about I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry too? I know you were in the first one. So no. fucking funny. I already and a conquered good the silver screen and now I, well. Is it, you don't mess with the Zohan too? Because I know you were in that one. No. Okay. What it is, well, it's about a voyeur and he falls out of a tree and gets hit by a car and he falls in love with the young woman of the father who hit him with a car and I know what you're thinking. That seems pretty straightforward. Well, here's the twist. Yeah. Their son from the future shows up and uh, he gets into some vehicle-related uh, shenanigans as well. I call the movie Crash. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Dave, first of all, I want to say, first it's of all, Dave, finger. I want to apologize. <laughs> okay. I want to apologize, because you know what I did? I assumed that what you were going to say wasn't going to be very funny, and it was very funny, Dave. It was very good. <laughs> oh, it's a... <laughs> It's a drama. I, this is a drama yeah. movie. Don't listen. You already got the point, and you barely got through there. <laughs> you you dropped that. Uh, the you got right through that hairpin turn. You shouldn't look back. Just move forward. They have made a couple of films called Crash, and one what? won an Oscar. What was it one, about? One of them won a weird David Cronenberg sex Oscar, which is a special award. What was award the one they, that won the Oscar? What was it about? I'm was it about a films, voyeur who gets hit by a car? I get the films confused sometimes because they are both named Crash, but I think the one that won the Oscar was the one that fixed racism and the one that won the David Cronenberg sex Oscar, the award that they made to give David Cronenberg for his films was the David Cronenberg sex car crash movie called Crash. Um, but that's fine. I think that that proves the point that there can be multiple movies called Crash. People like movies called Crash. People love movies called Crash. Yeah. Does your movie have James Spader in it? And no. he has sex with a car in an accident? It has Crispin Glover in it. Well, now hold on. What's wrong? Now, why did you put Crispin Glover in there, Dave? Well, because it's uh, he's going to play opposite Leah Thompson, and they have great chemistry. Yeah, they were great in Back to the Future together. What's that movie? I, don't worry about it because nowhere in your synopsis did you mention time travel. So I think that your films in the your films in the clear. no the sun and, comes back from the future. So you heard it just then, right? You heard it just fine. No, it's a it's a different. You said to, and mine's from. Okay, all right. Dave, I gotta man, go you do really some should, rewrites. Yeah, Dave, you should have gotten out of there, man. You got greedy, didn't you? You, you got, got greedy, You Dave. got stuck with your hand in the comedy tiller, didn't you, bud? You know what? I'm gonna go. <laughs> yeah, I've gotta move on here, to the next city. Fucking but I'll be Winnie back with Pooh. more ideas. <laughs> fucking Winnie the Pooh-ass Dave Matthews fan got his butt <laughs> stuck in the comedy window. 
I gotta go, but not yeah, because get, of that, because I'm choosing to leave on my own yeah, time. You're choosing to leave. Get this out of here. This is my dude. choice, not yours. <laughs> yeah, baby. Let's go to the funny stuff. me the whole time where the yeah. fuck have you been yeah, uh-huh. that's sorry that's how i start every ad now yeah <laughs> yeah it's a, I, very I mean, aggressive it's a, but it works have you been on the internet oh. because if you have been on the internet you've seen a lot of great websites and you start looking at them you think i could never i never could make a great website like this well i, I got news for you my friend you definitely could Squarespace makes it easy enough for anybody to make a website and update a website travis has used it multiple times correct uh, and if we can do it, I did it once. Friend, anybody can. I did. Griffin did it too. I did it once. Let me just um, throw this out there. Now might be a great time to start working. You know how you had that great idea for a social media website? This might be a great time to start on that. I don't know if Squarespace could build a social media network for you, um, but they could probably make a blank Google document. And that's about. That's a social network. It would work better it. at this point than some other things. If, if if she if they would just be chill, um, they got. Uh, really cool templates. They're kind of like building blocks. You can move around to put the piece exactly where you want it. You don't have to code stuff. You just have to make something that uh, you like. And they have these templates that make it easy to do that have already been created for you by people who really know what they're doing. Uh, And I think you can benefit from it. I think it's worth a shot. It's fun to make websites with Squarespace. That's what I'll say. Yeah. Yeah. And And you know what? You know what I'll say? If you're like, I don't know about building a website, I believe in you. Yeah, and you don't even have, there's no risk, but listen to this. Check out squarespace.com slash mybrother for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code mybrother to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. It's good. Um, That's a good deal. It's a good deal. You know what? It's getting colder. It's getting colder mm. here. It's snowed here in Cincinnati. Yeah, snowed. Yeah, we're dusting. And you know what that means? It's time to break out those sweaters, but you know what? Sometimes you don't know what that means. So when it gets cold, Justin, the Earth is uh, not facing the sun uh, uh, because I don't. Okay, you're Thor getting, is gotten between. I didn't sign up for all this. Okay, stuff. Thor's big and, body got between us and the sun. Yeah, and because take away, Kitty told him to. So um, it's getting cold. There, it's time to break out those sweaters. I just got some brand new sweaters, right? Because some of my sweaters, uh, they're getting a little thin, a little moth-eaten. Gotta keep them away from those moths, guys. I don't know why I let those moths in there. They're eating up my sweaters. I got some new sweaters, though, from Stitch Fix. They're comfy. They're cozy. One of the sweaters looks like uh, Chris Evans' sweater from Knives Out. What's up? Ooh. Oh, yeah, nice. baby. So, if you're like, I would like to have a That is the Chris chunkiest Evans. cable knit I have I have. I don't know how that thing stays together. So chunky cable net. It's mostly held together by the salt of the ocean spray as you're out catching lobsters on a cold just, New England morning. It's just his body pressing outward against the mm-hmm. the the cable knit fabric that is just like kind of with tension holding the whole thing on him. He takes Stitch it off and it unspools. He takes it off. When he takes off the sweater, it just comes completely undone. Well, now you've got people thinking about Chris Evans taking his sweater off, Griffin. We lost him. They're out of here. Yeah, Travis, our sexiest man this year. The Stitch Fix asked me to do that to associate oh, okay. like their brand with like a like Captain America's bod. Oh, Go I ahead. See. Stitch Fix is an easy way to get clothes that fit you without having to endlessly scroll through options, and you don't even have to Google to see Chris Evans' naked body. You can just picture it right in your head. All you have to do is answer a few questions. That's in the copy. That's weird. <laughs> All you have to do is answer a few questions about where you typically get your clothes from, what you like to wear, your price range, and where you would take Chris Evans on an expensive dinner. Okay. With your choice in mind and a wide range of sizes available from extra small to 3XL, they'll find your perfect fit and send you clothes handpicked by Chris Evans just for you. Oh, there's an asterisk next to that. It says, might not be Chris Evans. So... There you go. Right now, Stitch Fix is offering my listeners, my listeners, $20 off their first Stitch Fix at stitchfix.com slash mybrother. That's stitchfix.com slash mybrother for $20 off today. Stitchfix.com slash mybrother, all clothes previously worn by Chris Evans. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, another wow. asterisk. Is that another accurate asterisk. or no? No, it's that's not true. It looks that's like. It's not. No. Okay, that's not accurate. No, I'm sorry, guys. 
Manolo, guess what? Manolo, guess what? 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 Doctor Game Show has made it to 100 episodes on Maximum Fun. Oh, that's true. I knew that. Well, to celebrate, we are releasing our entire Earwolf archives to Max Fun members. That's anyone who gives five dollars or more monthly to support podcasts like Doctor Game Show. That's 63 episodes with in-studio comedian guests like Jason Manzukis, Bowen Yang, and Matt Rogers, Joe Para, Todd Berry, and Janine Garofalo, Connor O'Malley, Chris Guthrie. And more. Plus three bonus episodes that include two pilot episodes. Wow, two pilots must be good. Find the feed at MaximumFun.org slash BOCO, B-O-C-O. Stands for bonus content. Mm-hmm. Presenting the new MaxFunStore.com. We've got shirts for your torso, hats for your head, drinkware for your finest beverages, and so much more. Starring your favorite Max Fun shows with new and classic designs. Find the perfect gift for the podcast fan in your life. Heck, that could be you. We're not judging. Head to MaxFunStore.com now. That's MaxFunStore.com. Oh. Dave? I want to munch. Squad. I want to munch. Squad. Welcome to Munch Squad. It's a podcast within a podcast that profiles the latest and greatest in brand eating. And I have two stories for you. Um, Just to real quickly cover this one. Uh, Wendy's has inv- unveiled its Italian mozzarella sandwiches. And were you about to say invoked? <laughs> Wendy's has invoked. Ha- I mean, that's that would be more applicable to this this beautiful boy. Look at look at this. I'd rather not. Beautiful boy. Look at this beauty. I want to see some fresh mozzarella. Wendy's unveils Italian mozzarella sandwiches and garlic fries. Huh? Can you see it now? There, oh, yeah, that but looks there's really good. Two. Okay, you could guess what those ingredients are for a hundred thousand eons. Well, I'm. <laughs> I mean, it looks like chicken and mozzarella, and then maybe marinara on top. Okay, good. And maybe, but in onion, between the mozzarella ring? and the marinara, is that onion? Is that onion ring? Wendy's all new mozzarella chicken sandwich, the Italian mozzarella cheeseburger, and garlic fries are bringing bold and savory innovations to menus this winter. Stacked in your Someone writing this press release was having the time of their fucking lives, and it's mainly why I wanted to bring it to you today. Stacked, stacked in your favor with flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Stacked in your favor with flavor. This nice. match made an Italian heaven, which, which is, is where, a different. I didn't know that they were separated out Italians. like that. Why do they have to have their own heaven? In segregated heaven. <laughs> why? What? Why? It's a ta- It's a match made in Italian heaven. <laughs> It's like how we only gave them one seasoning. You know, what I mean? they're only allowed to use mm-hmm. Italian seasoning. Yeah. Italian heaven. Uh, will, this is one sentence. Stacked in your favor with flavor, this match made in Italian heaven <laughs> will fulfill your comfort food. They will fulfill your comfort you food. You don't have cravings. to bring it full. That's not a play on that. words. That's what it means. That's what it yeah, means. Yeah, it's italicized. Will fulfill Italian your com- sized Justin, it, please. Thank you. Will fulfill your comfort food cravings and leave you satisfied. I am oh, going to yeah. make it a max fun stretch goal that I will get this sentence tattooed on my body. I think it's the best sentence I've it's ever read in my squad. Of words, There's eight different things. The Italian mozzarella chicken sandwich brings all the familiar flavors of a homemade Italian dinner in one delicious sandwich. Do you hear that? Do you hear that Italian culture? We've summed it all up in a Wendy's chicken sandwich. This juicy, lightly breaded, crispy chicken breast is topped with ooey gooey fried mozzarella cheese, savory marinara sauce, and naturally aged rich Asiago cheese. Oh, wait. All held- wait. Yeah. So that's so one that big second cheese patty. Stick. So it's a big loaf of cheese on top of chicken and cheese and mozzarella. And then it's all wrapped up with the towering toasted golden garlic knot bun. Friends, well, friends I think at home. I think I can speak for Italian Jesus when I say a mamma mia. Yeah, this is a crime. This is uh, <laughs> you're going to Italian hell. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I folks at home who can't see, well, when Justin says fried cheese, 
we are not talking about cheese in the traditional dimensions that one is used to seeing cheese. Yeah. This is a, it looks like one inch tall round yeah. of, che- loaf. of round loaf of cheese. that has And then if fry. I may, a very pale bun. Well, it's a garlic knot. Yeah, so it's well, not it's even not, a bun. It's a bun. It's a garlic knot bun. It's a garlic knot. It's not you can garlic. Get it, you can get it uh, as a hamburger instead of a chicken sandwich. And then it says, cheesy square goodness for all. Ah, it's just like wait, Mama on. used does to it, make. Does it say that? In a in the context of a larger paragraph, or is it just sort of marginalia? Like it, someone has just for written those, as a <laughs> note on the press release, like mm, cheesy square goodness for all. For it's those a fresh, footnote at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. For those fresh, never frozen beef fans, the sandwich is also available as a hamburger instead of a chicken sandwich. Period. Cheesy square goodness for all. Wait, it just says that as it's. Uh, that's not even a complete thought. Well, let him finish the thing. Cheesy square goodness to all, and to all a good night. <laughs> This is good. Coated in a flavorful garlic herb sauce, the garlic fries are made with Wendy's natural cut hot and crispy french fries and make the perfect pairing for those cozy winter vibes. Yeah. Can you smell the mouth-watering aroma of garlic yet? <laughs> no? No? I've never... Uh, this... PR has never asked me a question before. I didn't know that I was on the clock. Do we this. have to write it in? Like, do we? how do we answer? I think the answer is cheesy square goodness for all. We have a winning track record of taking familiar favorites and combining them into exciting new ways to deliver a culinary experience that you won't find anywhere else, thank God. The Italian mozzarella sandwiches are forged from the same delicious inspiration and innovation, giving fans an adventurous flavor experience with every bite, says John Lee. You know, I, when I go to Wendy's, what am I going there for? Nothing if not adventure. Yeah. And, and also you, you step up to Italian Hephaestus and say, forge me a sandwich. Thank forge you. me in your in, in your your heavens for your Italian heavens forge. I do want to say that every time I go to Wendy's in my car and I get the car food to eat it while I'm at the parking lot of like, you know, my my son's children's theater class because I ran out of time to eat a normal meal. I do always think, God dang, I wish these fries were wet. Like really, 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 really <laughs> wet. Really so sloppy. Like so sloppy and wet. I would love to have that in my car, this wet fry energy. And to make the whole car smell like garlic too. Wet That'd and be nice. stinky too. Please give me that now, Wendy's, for me, Dave. Yeah, they want to be the sloppy provider. <laughs> it's give an adventure. Sloppy. Give me sloppy. <laughs> give me wet, Dave. <laughs> Dave Thomas, give me sloppy. <laughs> We're not just about. I'm gonna make a Max Fun team. Drive stretch goal. I'm gonna get Dave Thomas give me sloppy a tattooed <laughs> on my body. No way. Is that Dave Thomas saying it? Is it like give me sloppy, or is it like it's a picture not, of Dave? Oh, it's a Matthews. picture of Dave Thomas. Dave Thomas was saying with a speech bubble coming out of his head that says that says give me sloppy, but it's the actor Dave Thomas. Probably oh. the best. Probably the best thing that I'd like to see is those two trading jobs for a day. That'd be <laughs> right? funny. Yeah. Oh, be like funny. trading being a comedian and being dead, being a, a long, <laughs> okay. long dead restaurateur, being, being an icon, not long dead. How was the Real Dave quick, Matthews just... concert? Weird. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> it was Wait, quiet who's switching one. places? Dave Matthews, Dave Thomas, or Dave Thomas the actor? I'm so confused. Are they all three switching? Are they Just all going to pee them, in a fountain them, together? Throw them in the bag, and we'll pull out which one we need. <laughs> Mix them up. Can't tell um, the difference. Popeyes, got to give them a quick shout out. They got a new sandwich. It's the black and chicken sandwich. They're starting the chicken wars anew. With the black and chicken sandwich. And I just want to give a shout out to their Twitter. uh, Because their press campaign on this is, To the copycats that tried to copy our chicken sandwich back in 2019, here are the ingredients of our new, breading-free, flavorful black and chicken sandwich. Now try to copy us again. And there's a list of ingredients for the sandwich right there. So they're like, come on. Shots fired. Let's go. Here, let, we'll give you a leg up. You want to keep your ingredients secret? We're going to put them on Twitter. Now, Justin, I you have just made me think about what an impact the current uh, state of Twitter is going to have on Munch Squad because yeah. anybody could claim to be a restaurant and just make up some wild shit. Yeah. And like we could report it and have to walk it back. Can you imagine? Oh, my gosh. It would be such a blow to our integrity as an organization. 
Yeah. All right. Gross. Hey, that's our that's our program. Thank you so much, seriously, to everybody who came out to see us in Cincinnati, Detroit, and D.C. Uh, absolutely, super duper fun shows. We had a great time. Um, it might be really three of our best, to. three of our best live shows. I mean, it's hard. We and did do an amazing shows, adventure zone so, and an oh, amazing okay. adventure zone. Oh, okay. Thank you to Brendan Lee Mulligan for that, by the way. Anybody who came to the uh, DC Taz got a real treat. It was a that one was that one was wild. That was a wild show. <laughs> Um, I can't stop talking about it. Like, I literally have kept telling people, like, and then how it ended. Oh, my. Hey, how about uh, we got Candle Nights coming up? Yes, oh, we do. Pretty soon. Uh, it's going to be yep. virtual again this year. We're doing it cyber style, December 17th, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Tickets We're gonna are on cyber. sale. We're going to cyber. Tickets a lot. <laughs> Tickets are on sale now at bit.ly slash Candle Nights 2022. It's going to be a really fun time. We have fun special guests lined up we're gonna have skits and sketches and Whoa. um yeah. bits and, too and, and there will be a handful of bits and um the and, the pro- and all the proceeds pro- from that show go to just harmony to house say that. Yeah, oh yeah but, but they go, go to ahead. harmony house so when you buy tickets uh there is just the base ticket option but you can also choose to give more if you'd like to uh to help the people of harmony house help uh people who are experiencing homelessness in our hometown of huntington west virginia you guys have all like stepped up so much in the past. It's we love doing it, and we're yeah. excited to do it again this year. And uh, yeah, thank you to you, and thank you to our guests. It's going to be real fun. There's also an exclusive Candlelights 2022 poster and Candlelights uh, Candlelights ornament, uh, both designed by Bree Paulson. And sales for those will also benefit Harmony House. So that's coming up December 17th. Don't sleep on it. Get your tickets now at bit.ly slash Candlelights 2022. Uh, and speaking of merch, 10% of all merch proceeds this month go to Natives, which promotes indigenous foodways education and facilitates indigenous food access. Once again, macroymerch.com, you can find all of that. Uh, we've got some more shows. It's our, uh, like, 20 rendezvous in 2023 uh, Fancy Takes Flight Tours, the shows we had to reschedule. Uh, those are in San Jose and Denver. April 27th, San Jose, California is Adventure Zone with Abria. April 28th is San Jose, My Brother, My Brother and Me. April 29th is Denver. All existing tickets will be honored for the new dates. Uh, and if you would like to get tickets now that they have been rescheduled, you can get those as well. Mask and proof of full vaccination or negative COVID tests within 72 hours of event start is required. Uh, also, one more thing. Pre-orders for Taz 11th Hour are open now. Uh, it comes out February 21st, but go ahead and pre-order it now. Why wait? TheAdventureZoneComic.com. Like Justin mentioned, uh, we started the TikTok channel for Macro family so go follow that if you haven't uh, yeah. you can also find mcroy family on instagram um as well as the youtube channel mcroy family where we do uh streaming stuff from time to time we've been doing yeah. a lot of uh Fortnite on there Funny and stuff. a lot of other stuff so go check it out thanks to i i'm gonna thank montaigne for the use of our theme song my life is better with you i'm gonna struggle through it because justin keeps making his uh, haunted doll that we all have to keep in our office do like us do like a funny Fortnite dance. That's for kids. That bit's for kids. Justin, and I've seen that doll. I ordered it. That doll isn't for kids and should not be witnessed by children. No. Is, that guy. What's that? Do you remember that doll's name? What's his Jack. name, Justin? Jack? Jack. There was a parentheses um, next to it that I think makes it not appropriate for kids. Me off. <laughs> It's the last name. So that's it for this show. And I think Justin wanted to share a little word of uh, wisdom as we walk away from it, walk away from the, yeah, the burning absolutely. wreckage. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've always got uh, something. You know what? I'm actually saying we shared share. a lot of wisdom. How about some words of comfort, Justin? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, or just that's... read read whatever Bible verse you're Googling right now, too. Um, no, I had some ones about that. That And this is, um, let, let, mm. No, I don't want do to do another too... badass one that's like if you... I don't want it to be too Jesus y. Yeah, you know? no, yeah, I yeah, want yeah. a badass one that's like if you fucking lie, cut your own head off and put it in a volcano. That'll make you think. Cat cash mm, that's one's kind of religious. Eat violence. Eat violence eat and violence. shit justice. Don't borrow. Eat violence, cut your own feet off. Cut your own feet <laughs> off, eat violence, and don't borrow. And go to your house before you buy it. Matthew 5, 4 tells us, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. So I guess what I'm saying is like, don't even trip. Don't yeah, even trip. It all comes <laughs> out. It all comes out in the wash. Yeah, it'll be fine. I guess what we're saying is, it's totally cool that you're sad. 
It's, it's awesome, fine. man. It'll Don't worry. Yeah, that's it's awesome. It kicks. It kind of kicks ass that you're sad, actually. Yeah, because yeah. you can be comforted. It gives that's, us somebody to comfort so that we can feel just, yeah, superior. Yeah. Sadness is just an opportunity. Sadness is just not is just the uh, opportunity to get happy later. Eat your own feet. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just a macaroni. <laughs> I'm trying to attack her. Griffin McElroy. This is me, my brother, my brother. Me kiss your dad square on the lips. <laughs> MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Audience supported. And put it in a volcano. That'll make you think. Ca- cash. Mm, that one's kind of religious. Eat violence. Eat violence Eat and violence. shit. Justice. Don't borrow. Eat violence. Cut your own feet. <laughs> cut your own feet no, off. Then. Eat violence and don't borrow. And go to your house before you buy it. Matthew 5, 4 tells us, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. So I guess what I'm saying is, like, don't even trip. Don't yeah, even trip. Man. It, all comes <laughs> out, it all comes out in the wash. Yeah, it'll be fine. I guess what we're saying is, it's totally cool that you're sad. It's, it's awesome, fine. man. It'll don't be worry. Fine. It'll, That's yeah, awesome. It, kicks, it kind of kicks ass that you're sad, actually. Yeah, because yeah. you can be comforted. It gives That's us the, somebody to comfort so that we can feel just, yeah, superior. <laughs> yeah. Sadness is just an opportunity. Sadness is just not, is just the uh, opportunity to get happy later. Eat your own feet. <laughs> <laughs> But it's just a McElroy. <laughs> I'm trying to attack her. <laughs> Griffin McElroy. This is me, my brother, my brother. Me kiss your dad square on the lips. <laughs> MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Audience supported.